Your merchant center is suspended, it's very annoying, and you can't seem to get around to fixing it. Sup guys, very raw video here. Like I said, I would do one of these every single week. So we're gonna talk about merchant center being suspended, and I'm gonna give you literally one thing you need to do to fix it. I see it a bunch of times in the comment section. I see it a bunch of times in other Google ads, drop shipping kind of channels, and nobody really knows the answer, but if you know what you're doing, it's very easy to fix. You don't need to muck about with your contact us and all these fancy little hacks. You don't need to go to Fiverr, Upwork, to hire all these people to do it. It's literally as simple as one thing on your store and we're gonna jump in the screen and show you what that is. Because I know if you're running a store and you get suspended or you're trying to run Google Ads and you get suspended, you're like, hey, why did this happen? It's very annoying. I've seen it happen to me personally at the end of 21 and that's why we've changed our method to run on Google Ads. I'll show you that in a step-by-step -step way. So let's jump in the screen. So your merchant sent suspended, do this. Now, I was having a chat with an old client of mine literally yesterday, um, or the day before, I can't remember what day it was, and he was having a tough time getting approved for his new store. And when I looked at his store, it was no surprise of mine that he was getting suspended and he just couldn't get approved. And I say that because it was a 2020 and 2021 store. And what I mean by that was everything was copied and pasted from AliExpress or eBay stolen images. Now, I used to run a lot of these stores very consistently. If you look at my channel here, the 100K challenge that I did 20, 20, two years ago now, it's crazy. I, you know, did that, copy and paste store. Did it here again, done it multiple times, created multiple stores, done all this copy and paste store. And if you don't know what I mean by that copy and paste store, we'll get into that in a second. But this used to work phenomenally well, and it was like a, a lazy dropshipper way, but I wasn't into that idea, like I was just thinking, okay, it's working, just keep doing it. And Google caught on to these stores, and not like people were scamming people, etc. but Google just don't wanna see these copy and paste stores anymore. And we're seeing that, like literally nobody can get approved with these stores. And I'm gonna tell you why this is a good thing at the end of this video, but let's just keep going down that rabbit hole. So I used to run these stores, like I said, consistently and make six figures every single month. But what I started noticing, noticing happened was around the end of 2021, Google was suspending a lot of these stores, mine's included. It went from a 75% approval rate to a 50% to a 25%. And now what I'm seeing is probably one in 10 and it's gonna get less as we approach 2023. So what I mean by that is every store you would you know, send away, 75% you'll get approved, so nice. And then it was like one every two and then it was like one every four, and it was one every 10 and now it's like one every two. And it's now mostly it's gonna be one every like never. You're never gonna get approved of these stores unless you're super lucky. And even if you do get approved of these stores, it's not even worth it anyways, because your conversion rate chance is gonna be low. You're probably gonna be unprofitable and Google's gonna catch on you to eventually. So do not be the lazy dropshipper. And we'll talk about that. So, and it's as simple as you're lazy. I know some people don't like to be called lazy. And at the time I was like, oh, maybe I'm just being lazy. And if you think about it, it is lazy because if you look at good stores and we'll go over a couple examples as well at the end of this video, you really are being lazy. You very are being lazy. You're just copy and pasted, you're undercutting, you're sending these crappy stores. And it's no wonder that Google don't want you to advertise with their platform. And like I said, it's no fancy widgets. You don't need to do all these fancy things. You just need to change your approach and make a new store using the things I'm gonna talk about. And that's it. You're probably gonna get approved if you follow this. And if you don't, chances are you've not followed it or you've been lazy again, or you've said, ah, I don't wanna do that step. So we'll talk about that. Now you don't wanna go down the route of building a brand, hiring designers, forts, etc. That's all you need to do. So all you need to literally do is build a brand hire a couple of designers, designers on Upwork to take your photos. You can do it yourself. I know people that are photoshopping their own photos, et cetera, on their products, and that's all you need to do. I'm gonna give you examples, and you, may, you might be like, oh, Jake, is that it? I don't, I don't think that's it. Well, trust me, that's it. Let me show you. So here's a store, Gear Tech. Now, these guys are running Google, Google Shopping, but I promise you, it's a ticking time bomb. These are the kind of stores that get suspended. How many times have we seen this same product? I used to scale the effing crap of this product in 2020 and 21, just for transparency. I've scaled this product so hard and it's the same AliExpress, eBay. We've all seen it, right? If you're familiar and you're actually doing numbers in the game or you you know, are looking at product research, we've seen this product, right? It's even got Chinese writing on it for God's sake. So I've seen this a thousand times. How many times do you think Google you know, shopping and the team have seen this? So when you pull up to a store with images like this and we don't even need to talk about the design of the store, it could be improved. Like, it's, why is it so far to the left? That's fine. Google don't really care about the design that much, but it's more about the products, right? And I've seen these images so many times, dude. So, and if we look at his other store, I used to sell this GPS tracker in 2019, 2020, scaled the crap out of it. It was fantastic. But I promise you, dudes, if you're pulling up to stores like this, it's on a ticking time bomb. 
how do you build a store? Manual, perfect example in the same niche. Now this is a general store. I think general stores are honestly on the decline. I think they're gonna be extinct by middle of 2023. We've already seen that. So I don't think you should build a general store off the bat. But regardless, manual, proper store. Look at the difference, it's custom images. These aren't actually that special to make, guys. Like these are mostly white labeled. They have went you know, further on that, but you can white label this products and it's that simple and just get custom images. You don't see copy and paste, like you can't compete with these guys. So like I said, you're never gonna get suspended. And this is a, you know, consider a dodgy product, right? It's, uh, it's a health product, right? But trust me, even on products like this, you can sell crazy stuff if you custom it. Even I've got people selling sex toys, believe it or not, and they're just customizing it. It's a beautiful, beautiful ocean because I promise you, once you do this, you're going to convert better, you're going to be more profitable, and Google will never bother you again. Let me give you an example because I want to keep giving you some value um, before we let you go. So here's a store. Same again. Seen this image. Seen these images so many times. So many times. Copied and pasted. Low effort gifts. Just low effort. It's a little bit better than the other one, but it's still still copy and pasted. And for you guys out there that are saying, hey, this is not copy, I don't understand how this copy is. Trust me, if you've been in the space, you've seen these products, I literally can find these on AliExpress in a second. Here's an example. Let me just show you the product model. So here's the model, right? You can see the model. This is the exact same model, dudes. But guess what? It's just customized a little, little bit. Personal touch, you've got the avatar. These are all custom. You can't steal these, right? They're not. You can't find them anywhere bar from this store. This store's ticking well. The store's doing six figures a month easily. And these are all custom images, dude. This is just a different. And how do you get the answer to that? You literally come on Google, where do you want to advertise? Type in the product and look at what's ranking. Take what's working, take it to your designer, take it to, you know, if you're gonna do it yourself. But all you have to do, dudes, is just not copy and paste and just do custom images. That's all you need to do because I promise you, if you're just copy and pasting images, you're just going to get suspended, I promise you. And you, you can honestly ask yourself, are you copy and pasted images? And if you are, you already know that you, you already know that you just need to go and fix that. And if you aren't, chances are you probably are, or chances are there's something else on the store. If you're copy and pasting something, it's low effort. That's all you need to do, guys, because you have to ask yourself, Google want to give the customer a good experience, okay? So when Google sees these low effort stores, you know, they don't even want you on their platform because they don't want to ruin their customers with a bad experience. They know that you're dropshipping from China, right? And, you know, whole sourcing it from China, that's a totally different topic. But if you just want to prove, guys, that's all you have to do. So I want to leave you with this because I know that can be discouraging. It's like, oh, damn, I have to go to all this extra effort. It's discouraging, man, especially when you're just starting out and you just think you can just copy and paste. Like, you could, you could two years ago, go, go for it. Even one year ago, sure. And it's discouraging because you get a lot of people saying you can just you know turn on if you want to run tiktok ads on tiktok organic hey go and do that but if you want to you know pull up to proper platforms and actually scale a long-term store and print money in your sleep you need to put the extra effort in i'm sorry to tell you that guys but i want to show you this last point and tell you why it's so so worth it once you get it going so the best bit is guys you make way more money okay the lazy copy and paste dropshippers they can't come and undercut your price anymore it's just not a price bit anymore you're selling it at 21 pound then you wake up and it's like 20 and then somebody else is selling at 18 and all the customers are just falling to the cheapest thing if you custom image your thing nobody can f with you who's effing with manual absolutely nobody who's effing you know with this store while they're here absolutely nobody because you can't steal it you can't undercut it you can't steal it it's a fair market value and it's just a beautiful beautiful, beautiful machine so i promise you guys what you need to do is you just need to go and take that advice please custom your images send a store to google merchant and that's all you need to do if you are suspended what i would do is i would close your accounts down so you know how you can go into their account and close the accounts or try and fix them but if you have a suspended account then you try and open up another account in the same name and if you put your card details in etc even if you do the custom images you're still going to get suspended right because you're you're linked to the same account worst case scenario if you've completely wrecked your name and you're like blacklisted because you've sent 10 stores in the last 10 days use somebody else's use your spouse use your girlfriend heck use your dog it's not possible but you know what i mean use somebody else's unless you're not blacklisted but you'll know yourself if you've sent 10 stores in the last five days yeah you're probably effed right not really a way to do that that was kind of your own fault but i promise you it's not that hard to run stores in other people's name if you've done that you can get around it but i would rather you you know go to the effort of building a long-term store and i promise you if that's all you need to do let me know in the comments below hopefully that helps you because i see it a lot in my channel itself why jake i'm suspended i can't i can't get all of this I promise you dudes 
That's all you need to do. Why do you think these stores, you know, never have any issues? These stores will never get any issues. They've been running for years, okay? And why do these pop-up stores only, you know, if they get even approved in the first end, why are they gone in like three months? I see so many stores pop up and then they're gone, right? And it's not only because they might be unprofitable, it's just because Google just shut them down every single time. So hopefully you got some value, dudes, and I'll see you in the next video.